What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today's ch video is going to be very, very short, but it's something that you guys might really, really like. And that is going to be how you guys can be driving around without a front plate. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, I don't have a front plate bracket or anything like that because I do not like the front plates and I also have expired temp tags now I do have the actual plates registered to this car I just hadn't put them on but I'm about to put these on and I'm gonna put the back one on and I actually have this nice black frame that I'm gonna use for the back for the back plate and here's the license plate so it's gonna go like that and that'll be in the back so we're gonna put that but I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can drive around without a front plate and still be okay whenever a police officer pulls you guys over for a front plate all right so there we go we've got the Texas plate with the black frame I might have to get this frame taken to get painted once we paint our side skirts and stuff that is coming in so that it can match all the gloss black but we've got the white license plate with the frame black frame around but now you're wondering well what do you mean no worries about no front plate well that's because i ordered something from zl1 add-ons that is gonna not be on the car permanently like some people do it but will be available so that a cop does not issue you a ticket for the front plate. All right guys, so this is what I'm talking about and that is the ZL1 add-ons license plate holder. And this actually goes in the tow hook of the front of your Camaro. Now, on these 2019s, the tow hook is right behind this piece of plastic here. And unfortunately, if you decided you want to run the tow hook permanently you would have to remove this big chunk all right here it looks really ugly personally and i don't want to have the front plate here all the time and have to be removing this back and forth back and forth so i don't plan on actually using that unless a police officer pulls me over and asks for my plate so let me go ahead and show you guys what this is and of course you have your license plate holder which is this here and as you can see here you've got the bolt where you're gonna bolt the to the uh, actual tow hook thing so you get this and then you also get a bunch of screws for what I believe you get a bunch of screws for the plate to put the plate on here um, and you also get the main bolt that is going to go onto your tow hook bolt so let me go ahead and unwrap this and show you guys what i'm talking about all right guys so here we go this is what you're going to get this right here is actually the main tow hook that screws onto the chassis of the car and it actually has this screw in here and this is the main bolt that actually screws right into this but before you screw that of course you've got this plate so this has this backdrop and you can actually adjust the angle using this screw but what we're going to do is we're going to run this bolt through here as you can see here and we're just going to screw this in and get And I'm not worried about how tight it's going to be. I'm just going to do it hand tight. I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to have that hand tight. Um, you end up loosening this up anyways when you're trying to screw that in there because you're going to be going side to side. And to put the front plate on this, you do have the supplied screws. So let me go ahead and get that put on. And just like that, we now have the famous tow hook. Now, I actually might have put it backwards because I believe if we look at the angle, this tow hook actually is gonna end up going in this way 
and if we do it this way it kind of goes outwards as well so I'm not sure which way but that doesn't really matter because we can always fix this on the road or whatever um, but yeah that actually ends up going in the front but we are not going to put this on the front of this car what I'm going to do with this is actually just throw it in the trunk and if a cop ever pulls me over and he asks, where's your front license plate? I'm going to tell him, I took it off. I went to a car show, which is where this thing is going to be probably going for most of the time. And I didn't want it in the front, but I forgot to put it back on. And let me get it, officer. And then we'll put it right back on. and It'll be ready to go. So that is how you guys can get yourself away with not using a front plate. Is buying this Z01 add-ons front license plate holder and having it readily available to put back on the car for so that the cop does not write you a fix it ticket or any of that stuff because he knows that it's very easy for you to fix it and take it back and it would just be a waste of his time so very very good investment I would re highly recommend the Z01 add-ons tow hook um, front license plate if you have a 6th gen basically uh, 2716 or up Camaro very very good and definitely going to be a lifesaver in the future although here in Texas I never really at least here in Houston never really gotten pulled over for no front plate uh, I believe my mom has gotten pulled over a couple times uh, out in going out of those cities by the state troopers and even if they decide to try to pull us over of course we have our saving grace so this is gonna go in the trunk and the car will have remain having a clean front end without any bracket or ugly license plate to cover it and still remain legal. so anyways guys that's it for today's video it's fairly short uh really just want to show you guys since i gotten the plates in and i've gotten all this i wanted to show you guys what you can do if you guys don't want to have a front plate uh and your state requires it um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button make sure you subscribe if you haven't because there's a lot of stuff coming to this car, so I'll see you guys in the next one.